cooling mod part three. There's the bracket I made for the water pump right here. These are the four holes to hold the bracket down onto the water pump and then on the end here I'm going to put the weights all attached with the weights on here. There's a couple of four ounce weights. That should help hold it down into the bucket and, and not allow it to float up. I call them screw protectors, but I found them at Home Depot in their little bin drawers there. But the reason I got those is that uh, when this is operational and I'm traveling with it, I need to be able to stick it in my case without water leaking everywhere. With all the wire ties on it, I may have to end up cutting the hose length. I don't know yet because once it... Uh, gets on here there might be drag or something on here so that's still the hose is still up in question to how long it is this one right here is about seven feet right now that turned out pretty nice uh, nice cover that goes over it it should keep it uh, insulated uh, very well okay, so there's the pump with the weights on it I made the return hose a little bit shorter and then I ran the wire up through one of the holes I'm kinda happy with the results because it's not hanging on the ground uh, where it might cause additional drag. My first test run I'll do it with just plain water. I want to just first see what kind of results I get running plain water before I introduce the ice. Just checking my wiring to make sure that uh, the pump's going in the right direction. It is. And uh, appears there's no leaks up here. Just plain water. There's no ice in it. Uh, just running it right now. The camera's not even hooked up to any kind of power at this moment. I'm just doing a test to see if there's any kind of water leaks going on with here, but uh, it doesn't look like there is. I mean, it's nice and solid. I don't even have, I don't even have uh, clamps on here right now. It's about 71 degrees right now, and I've just been letting it run without the cooler on and it's been running uh, very stable. It's got a you know flat line right there with the water going through it. The CCD temperature right now is 17.3 C. Test results here are amazing. I mean, I've never been able to, especially like at a room temperature, be able to drop below minus. Uh, right now, I mean, this is just a very few minutes into the test. Uh, it's at minus 1.3. 8, 1.7, and this doesn't have any ice in the chamber right now. I mean, I just have regular water. I mean, that's all it is inside there. The best kind of cooling temperature I could ever uh, achieve is plus 10 C. I mean, that's that, that was tops. I'm going to let this uh, run for a little while and uh, see what happens with it. So far, I'm very impressed with the results. Uh, you can see right there on the graph on the uh, temperature log is that it's a flat line okay and that's great news once you hit a hundred percent power what would happen is it would hit its top level then bounce back down and it would even get hotter so like on summer nights the best the best I could do would be plus 10 C and this is you know inside the house it's pretty close to what the temperature would be outside during the summer probably around 60 70 degrees uh, at, at night the one thing that I did notice now the power is, is at a hundred percent so what I'm going to try next is I'm going to take the set point and make the set point closer to where it's maxed out right now so I'm going to try to make the the set point uh, minus one and let's see if the power goes down a little bit instead of at a hundred percent target to minus one and the CCD temperature is minus 1.1 and the power dropped to 98%. Uh, the graph, when it first came out, you could see the power dropped immediately really fast. And it had a little bit of a bubble right there. You can see the bubble it just when it first came up and I told it to be minus 1, it came up and then it recovered. And now it's stable again. All the plugins are there. What I did too is I kind of like positioned the plugs up top or on the side here. So if there is condensation and it drips, it'll drip down and it won't drip on to any of these connectors here that might cause a problem. I started the dark run with uh, just water that's room temperature. 
and uh, the camera is running exposing the dark looks like I may have lost uh, about 0.5 C of uh, temperature it's running right now between about minus 1.1 and 1.3 something in that area I have the, the uh, CCD set point to minus 10 and uh, just trying to uh, give it a stress test to put a little bit of a load on the camera to see what uh, would happen you can see right there on the graph that it started to rise up and then starting to stable out uh, stabilize right now but still at, at this point anytime there was like a hundred percent of the power uh, that graph you're seeing it would just shoot up and it wouldn't do anything but just keep going straight up so so far the results are looking good I can't wait to give it a try with some ice. This has been running for a little while now it's uh, at uh, minus 0.4 right at the moment I've been taking darks and I've got the darks uh, zoomed up really high and I'm looking at these noise points and the noise points that I'm trying to uh, look at here are the the white ones that are right now round which is very good uh, for some reason when they get like towards plus 10 C they become really long and makes makes the stars uh, elongated so uh, that looks really good this is at uh, room temperature of the liquid cool I think what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to try uh, putting in some ice and seeing what kind of results I get next. Just placed ice in the uh, system and now you can see the condensation start to build up here. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to be really concerned about is if the inside of this is, is just so cold that it uh, makes condensation on the front of the uh, the CCD camera and that would be no good so uh, this might be a, a total failure but it might be something that's really good so uh, give this a try and see what happens turn the uh, cooler on right now I've got ice in the reservoir I set it to minus 20 uh, we'll see where it's going right now it's already at minus uh, 6.3 and it's dropping fast take a look at this in just a minute and see where it stabilizes off Now it's holding it at about minus 15. I had the set point to minus 20. Uh, there's ice in the chamber right now. And the most impressive part about this is you can see the the, the temperature line here. It's solid. It's, it's pretty much staying the same temperature all the way across, which is very good. For about this setup is I've, I have it insulated. I have the uh, the tubes insulated, so hopefully that that'll do is it'll keep the ice down in the chamber uh, solid longer. The results are looking pretty good here. This is with the ice, and uh, the room temperature right now is about 70 degrees. Uh, the CCD temp is minus 15, and it's holding pretty steady at at, at that. I did the uh, set point to minus 20. So now the only other thing that the concern would be is condensation on the CCD lens. This here on the CCD, I do not see any condensation built up on here. It's at minus 15. That was one of my uh, concerns was that uh, possibly the cool temperature of the condensation of the ice might have caused a problem, but it doesn't look like there's a problem. Overall, I believe that this cooling mod is... Uh, pretty successful. I mean it's stabilizing the temperature uh, keeping the, the temperature from fluctuating is very important to me uh, and it's also keeping it actually at a minus Celsius reading uh, to get minus 15 is just outstanding. Uh, I, all I have to do now is I need to run through the steps and prove it with some pictures. If you decide to do this mod uh, you know please take caution and know that this will void your warranty 
Uh, I'm only doing this trying to improve the camera. Uh, it may or may not work. I, I still haven't got it out in the field and tested it, but these bench tests or the bench tests that I've done, it looks very promising. I mean, I, I really like the results that I'm seeing so far. 75 degrees, the ambient temperature, and the CCD temp. It's holding steady at minus 15. The graft over the past period is very stable. Okay, so after five hours of running with the ice, it appears the ice has melted now. Um, it's running at room temperature, I guess. Uh, the room temperature right now is 74 degrees, the air temperature. So maybe what the the solution for this is larger reservoir because the reservoir with the ice in it right here is only one gallon. Uh, you can put your hand underneath here and I can feel the condensation. Uh, it's, it's wet underneath the, the camera right here and you can also see condensation coming off of the hose right here. Condensation is built up back behind a uh, the camera here and you can see that that's on the uh, the water cooler take a look at the uh, CCD and it looks really clear I mean and there's no condensation that's built up on the CCD so that still looks in pretty good shape make the cooling last all night I put two solid frozen bottles of water inside of the cooling chamber plus I also wrapped it with the blanket trying to help insulate it and then I also put an insulation around the camera because I felt the insulation or this was very cold. So I want to see if I can retain that. I want to hopefully try to get maybe a minus 15 uh, out of uh, 8 hours. Last night in my test I got probably about 4 hours of minus 15 with ice in it. I'm just going to try to see if uh, maybe insulating this will boost it and maybe give it a little bit longer uh, cool time. Water cooled G3 failure or success? I was pushing this little G3 to the limits. If I had to do it over again, I would not add ice and I would have not wrapped the camera with an ace bandage. What happened is, is I kept it cooling over an extended period of time with ice and then the CCD cooler failed. While the CCD cooler didn't do much without the built in cooler, it was worse than before. I believe the ice cooling caused too much condensation and was the ultimate cause of failure. Thanks for tagging along for my experiment and hopefully this has given you some ideas of what to do and what not to do.